For months, there has been this fear that Donald Trump would not accept the results of the election. And predictably, now that Joe Biden is leading, seems as if he is on the cusp of clinching 270 electoral votes, Donald Trump is doing what we all expected him to do, not accept the results of the election and cry foul. Claim that he's actually the winner and Joe Biden is only in the lead because the Democrats committed fraud. Now, I'm going to explain to you how Donald Trump is trying to steal this election. Now, that's the worst case scenario. At a minimum, he at least wants to have some sort of damage control. So that way, if he does lose, he didn't lose because of his own failure. He lost because the Democrats cheated. But if he can somehow use this claim of fraud to tilt it in his direction, that's what he wants to do. Now, of course, this has been a months-long effort by Donald Trump to lie about mail-in ballots and claim that they will lead to fraud. And there is two reasons why he's been claiming that mail-in ballots will lead to fraud. The first reason is so that way, in the event, a red mirage did happen, and it did. Well, he can declare victory and claim that all of the mail-in ballots that are coming in that heavily favor Joe Biden, that is evidence that Democrats are cheating. Now, it's not necessarily a shocker that more mail-in ballots favor Joe Biden after for months he told his supporters who believe him that mail-in ballots lead to fraud. So why would they want to vote by mail after you told them not to trust mail-in ballots? So it's not surprising, but I mean, this is all part of the plan. Now, the second element, he appointed Postmaster General Louis DeJoy to control the U.S. Postal Service. Now, what this means is that he can use his crony to slow down the process, slow down the delivery of ballots, give himself the advantage, make sure that his voters know not to vote by mail because all of those Democrats that are going to vote by mail, we're going to slow down that process, make sure that their ballots don't get delivered on time. So it was a months long ploy that contains two elements, him lying and prematurely declaring victory when he wasn't in the lead yet, when he didn't have enough electoral votes to claim victory, and two, absolutely crippling the U.S. Postal Service to make sure that mail-in ballots aren't effective. So we're going to talk about his attempt to steal this election in two parts. The first is him using the Red Mirage to declare victory. So last night, this is what he said when he had not been declared the winner, but because it appeared as if he was in the lead, well, to him, that warranted him claiming victory. This is a fraud on the American public. This is an embarrassment to our country. We were getting ready to win this election. Frankly, we did win this election. We did win this election. So our goal now is to ensure the integrity for the good of this nation. This is a very big moment. This is a major fraud in our nation. We want the law to be used in a proper manner. So we'll be going to the U.S. Supreme Court. We want all voting to stop. We don't want them to find any ballots at 4 o'clock in the morning and add them to the list, okay? It's, it's a very sad, it's a very sad moment. To me, this is a very sad moment. And we will win this, and we, as far as I'm concerned, we already have won it. So what he's basically saying is, I'm ahead right now, stop the counts. Because he knows that if the count continues, if we count all of the mail-in ballots, well, those are going to heavily favor Joe Biden because he told his supporters not to vote by mail. So he's saying, I don't want the votes to be counted. Now, he also took to Twitter to double down on this claim of fraud, saying, how come every time they count mail-in ballot dumps, they are so devastating in their percentage and power of destruction? They are working hard to make up 500,000 vote advantage in Pennsylvania disappear. ASAP, likewise Michigan and others. We are winning Pennsylvania big, but the PA Secretary of State just announced that there are millions of ballots left to be counted. So he's insinuating that it's weird and nefarious that as more and more of these mail-in ballots get counted, well, Joe Biden tends to 
overtake him. But this shouldn't be weird after for months you have told your supporters, don't vote by mail, mail-in ballots lead to fraud. So if they don't trust the system, then it shouldn't be a surprise to Donald Trump that more Democrats who are less likely to believe him are going to vote by mail. But he knows exactly what's happening. This is all part of the process because, you know, he is using this, his diminishing lead to cry fraud about mail-in ballots and use some sort of legal fight to at least slow down the process. And now we have this news. As AP reports, Trump's team is suing Pennsylvania and Michigan and asking for the counting to be halted until his campaign officials gain access to the process. And he's seeking a recount in Wisconsin. So his best hope here is to try to slow down the process. But what he's hoping for, with regard to Pennsylvania at least, is to invalidate lots of ballots. Because before he was able to confirm his Supreme Court nominee, Amy Coney Barrett, to the Supreme Court, well, it was a 4-4 decision. They were gridlocked. And basically what they determined is that ballots that come in after November 3rd that are postmarked for November 3rd, those are counted. Now, knowing that those are mail-in ballots that would heavily favor Joe Biden, this was not good for Donald Trump, who wants to stop those votes from being counted. So now he's trying to create a legal battle that goes quickly to the Supreme Court in hopes that Amy Coney Barrett will now end the gridlock and vote in his favor 5-4. So that way, any ballots that were received in Pennsylvania late, they don't actually get counted, which means he's trying to actively invalidate ballots. Now, while all this is taking place, while his legal team tries to at least slow down this process, his supporters are doing exactly what he wants them to do, exactly what we expected them to do. Because as NBC News reporter explains, large animated crush of Stop the Count protesters are trying to push their way into TCF Hall in Detroit, where ballots are being counted. They're being blocked by guards at the door. Pizza boxes are pushed against the window to obstruct the view. It's tense. And here's a video of what's happening. <laughs> Now remember, even though we know that Donald Trump's claims of fraud were expected and are false, they believe Donald Trump. Donald Trump is saying that these mail-in ballots, they're fraud. You know, I was I was in the lead at first, and all of a sudden, they seem to be finding more ballots for Joe Biden. Something nefarious is going on. So when he says that, they believe him. They're there because they genuinely believe that this election is being stolen from Donald Trump. And this isn't the only place where this is happening. You see other people lashing out, feeling as if this election that Donald Trump claims he won is being stolen before their very eyes. As I mentioned, we are not prepared to give that number. The Biden Troy family steals the election! The media is covering up! The Biden Troy family steals this election! The media is covering it up! The Biden Troy family steals this election! The media is covering up! We want our freedom for the world! Give us our freedom, Joe Biden! Joe Biden is covering up this election! He's stealing it! So even though you and I might know that when Donald Trump talks about how fraudulent mail-in ballots are, he's blatantly lying, his supporters trust him. And they are reacting how we would expect someone to act if they genuinely believed that an election is being stolen, that this is a coup. But in actuality, this is all Donald Trump's attempt to delegitimize this election in hopes that he can win somehow use this legal process to stop the counts, which is tough to do when they're already almost finished, or at least invalidate as many ballots as possible in Pennsylvania if Amy Coney Barrett does in fact, you know, rule his way if this reaches the Supreme Court. But all of this, like this attempt to invalidate and delegitimize this election, this was just a backup plan. Because really what Trump has been wanting to do is basically destroy the U.S. Postal Service using his crony, Louis DeJoy.
This was his main plan. And as the Washington Post reports, nearly 7% of ballots in U.S. Postal Service sorting facilities on Tuesday were not processed on time for submission to election officials, according to data the agency filed Wednesday in federal court, potentially leaving tens of thousands of ballots caught in the mail system during an especially tight presidential race. The Postal Service reported the timely processing, which includes most mail handling steps outside of pickup and delivery, of 93.3% of ballots on election day, its best processing score in several days, but still well below the 97% target that postal and voting experts say the agency should hit. The Postal Service processed 115,630 ballots on Tuesday, a volume much lower than in recent days after weeks of warnings about chronic mail delays. Of that number, close to 8,000 ballots were not processed on time. A small proportion, but one that could factor heavily in states such as Michigan and Wisconsin, which do not accept ballots after election day and could be decided by a few thousand votes. Earlier Tuesday, U.S. District Judge Emmett Sullivan of the District of Columbia had ordered the Postal Service to sweep 12 postal processing facilities that cover 15 states for ballots, but the agency rebuffed that order and said it would stick to its own inspection schedule, which voting rights advocates worried was too late in the day for found ballots to make it to vote counters. The directive came after the Postal Service disclosed that more than 300,000 ballots nationwide could not be traced. Those ballots received entry barcode scans at processing facilities, but not exit scans. The agency said the likelihood of that many ballots being misplaced was very low. Mail clerks had been ordered to sort ballots by hand in many locations, and items that were pulled out for expedited delivery were not given an exit scan. So in addition to them not delivering these ballots in time, they are reporting that 300,000 ballots across the country are just lost. Take a look at this map. As you see in Pennsylvania, Arizona, Florida, Thousands of ballots were reported missing in these states, crucial battleground states. And again, this does not include the ballots that were not delivered on time. These are just the ballots that are missing. And as a result of this, Louis DeJoy is uh, in trouble because as NBC News legal analyst Glenn Kirshner reports, Judge Sullivan is hauling USPS back into court at noon on November 4th to address its apparent noncompliance with his court order. Of paramount importance, getting 300,000 ballots delivered, DeJoy's crimes must not be allowed to thwart delivery and counting of all ballots. So what we are seeing is the culmination of a months-long strategy by Donald Trump to use mail-in ballots to try to steal this election, or at least tilt it in his favor. Number one, you make sure that your postmaster general, who is loyal to you, make sure that those ballots don't get out on time, or at least not all of them get out on time, which means that Democrats who disproportionately are more likely to vote by mail will be harmed by this. And for the ballots that do get delivered on time, assuming they weren't lost, you try to halt the process like stop them from being counted literally that's what his team is trying to do now they may not be able to do it i think maybe legally they know they can't really do that so they're just trying to slow down the process slow it down so they can try to figure out what to do next slow it down and say we need to get our observers in there because currently this looks really fishy this is exactly what we expected would happen it's basically the worst case scenario playing out before our very eyes Trump is trying to delegitimize this election, and he's working his supporters into a frenzy to where they are now showing up to the places where ballots are being counted and demanding that those ballots not be counted because they believe that this is a fraudulent process. This is really dangerous. If Joe Biden does, in fact, clinch 270, Trump is trying to make it seem as if he did not win legitimately. And that's not great for a country who is incredibly polarized and divided currently. So this is Trump's plan. He wants to steal this election or at a minimum delegitimize the results. And this is a direct attack on democracy. We'll call it what it is. It's a, an attack on democracy. You could support the Humanist Report at patreon.com slash humanist report. But trust me, I'd have way more supporters on Patreon if that was my podcast. Sad. <laughs>